what is trade the trade is nothing but where the buying and selling process will go that is called a trade when the flow of goods once you identify what customers are giving priority that is value identity the segmentation means dividing the marketplace into exactly number of parts because as a local competitors they cannot cover entire market Hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lachrar in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysore the temple of excellence so we are in the unit 1 session 1 principles of marketing on the bcom first semester so introductions to the marketing so today my agenda is meaning and definition of marketing and tradition concept of marketing and modern marketing of marketing so meaning and definition of market mere traditional concept of marketing and modern concept of marketing meaning and definition of marketing so core marketing concept so each and everything we will cover in this session so moving forward so what exactly market market means uh, where the buyer and seller meet one specific place okay so uh, if the buyer are why they are meeting for the seller or seller are meeting a buyer why because they are exchanging product or getting a offer seller whatever what kind of product are offered for the customers or consumers so they are uh, getting with the help of markets okay not only for purchasing a product or selling a product market is required for collecting free which is a free hand informations collected by the seller as well as buyer so in this the term market is coming from the latin word which is derived from the latin word mercatus Mar what do you mean by mercatus mercatus means what where mercatus means it is a merchandise either you can say it is a trade what is trade the trade is nothing but where the buying and selling process will go that is called a trade okay the mercatus is which is coming from the latin word mercatus means trade the term carries certain other meaning like merchandise we can say okay or uh, commercializing also we can say or trade also we can say which is related to the complete trade so if you are try to go for uh, details in the market there are different types of market we are able to identify we are able to know uh, the market is essentially place where where goods and service are offered for sale offered means what as a mark businessman whatever they are try to bring a new product or providing a service to the end consumers like a buyer so offering is nothing but the seller is giving a number of product for the buyer which is uh, adding too many benefits uh, uh, including providing a service for the product uh, there are too many benefits adding or product are offered to the buyers okay that is called offer for sale so when you uh, when the seller is offering a product obviously in front of the seller we are uh, we are expecting like buyer is very important okay now buyer is in a target market audience okay your customers you need to find out so where buyer meet seller and get first and information about the goods they want to buy because the buyer whenever they are try to purchase a product like a laptop or they they are going for fmcg product what do you mean by fmcg here f m c g fast moving consumer goods which is every day consumers are depending the frequently they are purchasing again and again that's what is which, uh, which movement is very fast that's what fast moving consumer goods okay if you take example like goods like fmcd fast moving consumer durable if uh, the comparing for the both fmcg and fmcd the life is very less for this expiry is less if the durability is more because the durability the word only it is going for the long period if you take an example for durability product like iron box or televisions okay which is the durability the duration is certain it is extended for certain period okay so that's what uh, the even the buyer also collecting a information from the seller because the seller is offering a product uh, so as a buyer i just want to get more information about what kind of product you are providing 
sharing, uh, the informations related to features, the informations related to price, the informations related to availability, the informations related to after sale service, all this information the buyer is collecting. That's what it is clearly said. The f get first hand information about the goods that want to buy. The different types are sold in the market, the different types of product are sold or different service are offered for the seller to the buyer. So because, so based on the customer real requirement, what exactly the customers are expecting. Now, in your questions, uh, you can ask question, what and all we can market? We can market uh, idea, we can market for product, physical product like FMCG, FMCD, okay, or uh, automobile or two wheeler that is and all a product right so not only for the physical product apart from physical product uh, service also we can go for uh, offering okay that is also which is marketed and idea also marketed the person also marketed then organization also you can market okay so there are different different uh, uh, product uh, service can be offered to the end consumer to fulfill the consumers require requirement okay so market ranging from uh, fruit and vegetable because the fruit and vegetable is having a life uh, very less life the the span of the life is very less that's what which is a pulverizing goods we can say it is a pulverizing goods or uh, perishable goods we can say within a span of time uh, we can't store for monthly wise we can store for hourly hour hourly basis we can store and uh, product like fruits and vegetable uh, which is nothing but a perishable goods and a fridge and a television because here i specified fmcg uh, and fmcd now if you take example for a fridge and a television which is coming under the category of FMCG because the customers are not purchasing yearly 365 every day are not purchasing they are very rarely they are purchasing because the durability is extended for certain period okay moving forward and of course if you are familiar with the meaning of market definitely you need to get an idea about the definition okay according to experts they what kind of definitions they provided for no much better here according to pile pile is one expert okay is author market include both place and region both place and region i very clearly specified market is a where the buyer and seller meet uh, or getting information or exchanging information okay so place and region which buyer and seller are free competition with one another because nobody is a restriction nobody is restricting restricting buyer and seller you you can't come you cannot enter this market so here it is a freely you can go for competition as a businessman they are providing too many product or providing a service they are offering a product okay obviously it is a free competition so the buyer also come and seller also come whenever they come so uh, easily which is a free competition so obviously the buyer and seller is meeting one specific place is required that is called market moving forward so before studying the marketing exactly we need to know how the marketing evaluations will be done okay now if you are talking related to traditional concept of marketing which is always focusing how i can increase my the focus on the product now the product it is offered by the seller or a businessman the big company or offered products so the focus is always going for product but uh, what means it is nothing but selling always thus in the traditional marketing they are always focusing to increase the sales that's what i specified here selling and and obviously when you started business you are expecting a profit that it will it will end with the profit through maximization of sales how you can increase the day by day you are planning to increase the sales that's what it is end with the profit through the maximization of sales okay but in case of modern marketing when we are talking related to modern marketing concept uh, the focus is always for customer need now before starting a production the customers uh, uh, customer what they are expecting when they are expecting what kind of product they are expecting what kind of service they 
are expecting so based on the customers needs only now the businessman or producers are taking a steps the marketing team are collecting information related to customer needs so in this we are not focusing on the we are not giving any priority because we are just focusing how to increase my sale but in the modern modern concept of marketing we are always focusing on the what customers needs based on the customer needs wants the producer are start producing the product okay and it means what a coordinating marketing effort because uh, which is unless we are not getting we are not coordinating with the buyers so in the modern marketing concept to directly we cannot sustain for long period that's what we need to coordinate right market effort will be coordinating which will end with the profit obviously any business will start with the motto of my motto of how to maximize your profit now not only you are focusing for profit through customer satisfaction if you are customers are satisfied definitely it is very important for modern marketing so if your customers are satisfied then you can uh, expect again and again the customers are purchasing your product because already they satisfied they can refer for other customer this product is very nice okay so moving forward and uh, so meaning now we just uh, know, we got an idea about the traditional marketing and the modern marketing concept now we will exactly what kind of meaning according to person how you can understand marketing that is meaning there is no standard definition is not specified the person to person okay there according but in the marketing concept marketing is an economical activity when economical activity is nothing but uh, uh, human activity uh, you are getting so marketing is a human activity human activity is nothing but economical activity because we are producing a product uh, not for our sake we are producing a product for many people so to serve okay to we are offering we are making profit this kind of activity is uh, involved by the human activity directed to at satisfy needs and wants through exchange process how we are producing mask production we produce many product but actually we are not uh, consuming ourselves suppose we are producing with the intentions to sell uh, so we, the, the main reason is what the exchange process i will sell physically product is going out of the business and the same time i am expecting a money from the buyers so this is called exchange process uh, it is not only one day okay again and again i am doing the same kind of process okay till the company will be exist so marketing is ab about identifying and you uh, identifying and meeting the human and social need because the marketers now we are talking related to modern marketing when you are giving importance for the customers obviously you need to identify and meeting the human requirement when they want what kind of product or service or they are expecting okay timely you need to produce okay you have to fulfill the humans and social needs because your started business means you are serving for the society obviously you need to give importance for the social needs clear the human needs there are too many need the basic needs uh, something different uh, and uh, extraordinary risk uh, needs are varied the person to person based on their income level their pattern their custom their traditions and the needs will be keep on change but the basic needs always they want to drink water that is basic needs okay if instead of drinking uh, uh, water if they are going for something like uh, uh, fruity or coca cola this is actually special needs <clears throat> moving so obviously when you are familiar with the meaning of marketing we you, we need to know the definition uh, given by the there are two authors uh, one is one author is a philip scotler is a modern marketing father we, we can we can call it as okay the philip scotler is a modern ma modern marketing father okay so what he exactly he told uh, marketing is a process because the process uh, the process will start from the seller and end with the buyer okay so in between there are too many gaps you need to fulfill okay. is it clear now seller they are collecting information what customers are expecting okay so when you are expecting customer obviously as a seller i want to capture what kind of value they are giving 
priority so for example the customers are giving importance for the only color that is one kind of value identified by the seller the customers are giving priority for price that is one kind of identification whenever you are capturing a value now you are giving a best solution okay adding too many benefits the process which company create value exactly the customers when you capture value from customers now the companies they want to create the value adding too many benefits designing innovative product okay the, then the customers are ready to accept your product because you are thinking your customer is very important once you capture the value from the customer now the company start creating a value for the customers okay so not only capture not not only providing a value for the customers now you need to maintain a build a strong relationship customer relationship in order to capture the value from the customer in return obviously whenever you are giving a more and more benefit adding more and more benefits to the product the customer value once you identify you capture the finally now you are maintaining a long relationship okay now when you are maintaining a long relationship now your returns will be a double or more why because if the customers are satisfied they are coming again and again the same kind of product what you are offering the same thing the customer can refers to other okay this particular product is very excellent so that you can also purchase okay so they can pass the message very fastly this is a definition is given by the philips kotler and of course there is one standard definition is um, american marketing association american marketing association we can simply ama we specified here so formal definitions there are too many authors are given different different definitions obviously we cannot uh, remember for all the uh, definitions whatever they are quoted but mainly philip scotler understood now second the marketing uh, american marketing association what they exactly said about the marketing so marketing include those business activity because the business activity start from the human activity human itself the human are the man or women are taking a steps to produce the product obviously so which is coming under the human activity because as a seller is also woman and the buyer also woman so marketing include those business activity which are involved in the flow of goods and service obviously when the flow of goods once you identify what customers are giving priority that is value identity value you captured now after capturing a value you need to provide the value uh, you need to fulfill the value customers value you want to fulfill that's what the product is ready now the product is ready now the product is ready with the producer the product is ready with the producer now producer is nothing but the production point okay now producer to end consumers you need to sell now that is called consumption prd producer and producer okay the production point the product is ready now it is ready to go for consumption now in the consumption point when you are talking for consumption point so always the consumptions will be uh, full uh, the consumption part is completely based on the consumers okay the customers or buyers okay now this one the human activity what kind of product you are producing whom you are offering okay you need to identify the customer which customer they can buy my product okay so the producer a production point a consumer a consumption point you can say so which are involved in the flow of goods or service from the productions to end consumption so immediately we can't sell the product once the product is ready which is directly not going for consumption which is not going for consumption so the production and consumption it will take a long it will take time to go for the consumption so you need to take you in between the production and consumption there are different activity there are different functions will be going on okay i think uh, you understood this point moving forward 
obviously my agenda i clearly specify not only meaning of market not only definition of market not only meaning of marketing not only definitions of marketing so as a marketers you want to you must remember the what are the concept which is covered in the core market marketing concept core marketing concept means what as a marketers you need to well familiar with this basic terminology whichever it is coming again and again in the marketing department as a marketers they want to remember much better that's what which we can call it as a core marketing concept okay so in this cycle you can see because the needs wants and demand is coming under the consumer point okay so this needs uh, wants and demands you need to well familiar what exactly needs what exactly wants what exactly demands okay as a marketers you must understand because of the consumer point of view when you are try to capture the value based on the needs wants and demands okay now you are capturing the value from the customers understood no so the same thing when you capture the value you are providing a solution now you find the problem what customers are facing okay as a marketers as a businessman you are providing the solution for the problem that's what the product is ready or service are ready now again you are once you identified consumer needs wants obviously the product and service are ready okay now this is cycle is go not only for one day which is keep on going for the throughout okay throughout the operations so product and service the product uh, majorly we classified into two category one is consumer product and one more is industrial product consumer product the consumption part will be taken care by the individual consumptions consumer but industrial uh, product means what when the producer are fulfilling the industry requirement the product uh, what kind of product is provided for the producer point of view sorry industry requirement so obviously we can say it is an industrial product okay now service of course we need to do as a marketer uh, the physical product and service is not coming under the physical product we can't feel we can't touch we can't carry okay so the service is always intangible we cannot store that's what it is an not storable okay and participation is very important if you want to get service your participation and the service provider participation also very important okay this cycles and of course you need to identify the value capture the value identify the value create the value value is based on the consumer consumer are expecting a more and more benefit more and more features okay the value is related to how we can calculate value very simple benefit divided by cost or price so number of benefits suppose only one benefits you are providing the price is one understood the value it is one divided by one you are getting one suppose you are adding two value the price is one are you getting so same thing the value simple formula to calculate and satisfaction of course the satisfaction is completely depending on the consumer the consumer how they satisfied how much they satisfied the degree of satisfaction you must i didn't know you was to familiar you must know the satisfactions level how the consumers are satisfied okay and of course the quality is very important how what kind of quality you are maintaining okay to uh, uh, towards your product or towards your quality service all the factors so again exchange uh, of course uh, in between the buyer and the seller the exchange factors how the goods is going from the producer to end to consumer the producer are uh, taking a uh, marketing intermediators like old seller with the help of old seller with the help of retailers the exchange factor the same time we are expecting something benefits like returns like money or currency okay this is exchange process we need to as a marketers we need to familiar 
and the transaction what kind of transactions we are doing either we are doing a spot transaction or credit transactions okay or uh, if the product is sold today but expecting money tomorrow that is what coming uh, it is a credit transaction cash transaction means what we are uh, selling the goods immediately we are collecting money from the buyers the, the transaction and uh, of course we need to maintain relationship marketing means uh, there are not only one persons are involved there are too many persons are involved we need to maintain a good relationship between the supplier good relationship between the wholesaler and retailer of course finally consumer relationship also very important for that reason only the relationship means when we can say it is a crm means come customer relationship management because most of the company are uh, they having a department like uh, now how you are getting a call call center okay how if you have any problems you can call directly toll free numbers so because the solutions it's very important that's what they are providing and of course market means there are different types of market everything is not suit for all the market only one market we can't say there are different types of market uh, based on the geographical if you take a national market local market international market based on the transaction market if you take a spot market future market based on the volume if you take a wholesale market retail market there are different types of market we are as a marketers they want to familiar if you want to become a marketers you want to well thorough with the core marketing concept okay we will go for in depth huh? so coming slide <clears throat> and of course these are the core marketing concept now it is added too many so we need to remember all these things no need want demand target uh, market uh, uh, position and segmentation so simply i can write here s t p s t p and uh, offering and brand uh, okay offering and brand these are the channels okay communication channel distribution channel service channel now paid uh, own uh, and earn media impress engagement value and satisfaction competition marketing and one went we will discuss one by one i will discuss one by one in coming slide so of course the first uh, ma core marketing concept which is start from the diagram uh, you, have you observed right so the first one needs and wants and demand as a consumer point of view when you are talking uh, obviously there are basic needs social needs uh, okay psycho psychology needs uh, so there are different different needs will be there so obviously the basic women require such as for air basic and food is basic and water is a basic clothing and shelter is a basic now apart from this now if you are talking in the corporate now this uh, 21th century we are talking the basic is education is you can talk it is a basic education is required i getting so these are the uh, needs the basic needs obviously and uh, want means what it is a special need it is not it is not a basic need it is a special need see if the baby want to uh, if the baby is uh, when it is uh, when, when baby is crying instead of providing a milk if you try to provide for coke then then coke is considered as a want or milk is considered as needs okay so in the uh, you can see this image in the image the baby is crying as a mother she want to provide milk okay so when she is providing a milk that is a basic need now the baby is expecting to drink coke then milk is a basic need the coke is called wants okay the special needs so here in the, in the above image the baby need milk at the time baby is crying but it it wants candy so you can ask sir baby is not asking uh, coke because the baby is not able to speak 
ओके बट एक्च इफ यू केप्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द टेबल देयर आज व्हाट देयर इज वन मिल्क ग्लास एंड वन मोर इज कोक ग्लास ओके अदरवाइज कोक बॉटल सपोज द बेबी इफ द बेबी इज आइडेंटिफाइड द बोथ द प्रोडक्ट ओके बट द बेबी इज गिविंग प्रायोरिटी फॉर कोक इट शोइंग फॉर फिंगर लाइक अ कोक सो ऑबवियसली इट इज अ वांट राइट सो सो डिमांड मींस व्हाट दोस हु हैविंग अ हैबिलिटी टू पे और परचेसिंग पावर okay if i want to purchase a uh, two wheeler i don't have any finance support so I, it cannot be a become a demand demand means what i have a capacity i have a ability to buy okay that's what the want for special see i told you if need is a basic need if i try to go for special need that is will become a want if i try to go for special want that is it will become a demand it is one is depending it is depending okay so demand uh, want for specific product backed by an ability to pay as a customer you 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 should have an ability to meet the wants moving forward so here one more image one more image you are able to see need the basic human requirement want special objective that might satisfy the need okay and uh, demand is nothing but with the purchasing power or ability to buy the product or getting a service from the service provider okay so these are the image the first one the water and the second one is a coke instead of uh, when you are feeling a thirsty instead of going water you are giving a priorities like a coke so which is coming under want okay so obviously if the persons are having a capacity or ability to bear purchase the product with the help of currency or payment or purchasing power okay it will become a want moving forward so the next core concept is yes t p but it is not in the sequence but when we are writing in the symbolical stp we can say segment target position so what exactly segment segment is nothing see i will go according to this one the target means actually when you or business are offering a product or providing a service your product or service is ready now you need to identify in the total population this specific product who can purchase this product or service is made for which kind of customer so which kind of customers who is purchasing your product that is called target okay where you are targeting which area you are targeting when you are targeting what kind of criteria you are setting you are deciding in advance who is your target customer now the target market is a people who are going to be buying your product or service because this specific product i made suppose the johnson and johnson product which a major product means a baby soap okay so they are targeted always for not for directly child they are targeted for those who are having a kids okay they are targeting for parents is it clear so that's why that they when they are targeting they want to set the strategy very clearly the target market are usually defined by the three aspect when you are targeting okay there are different factor but majorly the target factors when you are defining three aspect you have to remember one is the demography demography means what the study of human population the study of scientific human population which is human population means what uh the age factor sex factor marital status income level of the customers okay and age composition all the factor which is directly or uh, connecting to the human beings so that's what it is a demography so you need to select what kind of product you are uh, providing offering for the customers who is your purchasing suppose uh, the product is only the cosmetic is made for female now targeted customer is a female only so so i need to identify age now if you talk related to age there is like a, uh, the intervals like 0 months to 6 years 
or seven years to eighteen years. Though these uh, these are the age compositions, right? So that's what I need to clearly set. What uh, who is my customers? Who is ready to purchase? Okay, based on the marital status, what kind of marital status based on the income level? Okay, so we will completely covering in the demographical coming slide uh, when we when we are in the when we are doing in the marketing environmental. Okay, so the complete concept will be covered here under demography and geographical. Geographical, which is nothing but when you are studying based on the area. Suppose, as I am a local manufacturer or no local producer, I cannot target for the entire world. My area is only within the local area. So that's what the area geographical is a area. Area wise, I want to set my target market. I want to select the best. Okay. Whenever the new products are arriving, so they are first the producer always focusing on the metro city. Okay. Metropolitan city they are giving priority because the populations are very high. Compared to other city, okay. So geographical area and psychographical, of course, which is related to psychology related uh, aspect when you are studying the customer be belief traditions, uh, okay. Their uh, custom, their belief, their traditions, okay. Their perception, all which is related to psychography. And of course, we need to familiar when the uh, STP, STP under STP, P is a position. Position means what? Your product or service are ready for the customer. How your product and service is sitting the customer mindset. Okay, how you are uh, feeding the information. How your product can be a sit in the mind of customer. How the customers can recall your product. Okay, how you created awareness. Okay, how the customers are recognizing your product that is called the whenever they, they start recognizing your product and service, the position strategy is very nice, successfully working because you are creating a lot of expenditures towards advertisement. So position means clear, it is a sitting a mind a mindset or the customer mindset, how you are sitting your, your product and service is out. Record, memorized okay and the positions refers to the ability to influence the consumer perception regarding the brand and product relative to the competitive so you are not coming under the monopoly you are not coming under the uh, monopoly monopoly means what uh, you are only one seller Obviously, the customer want to get benefit from the monopoly industry, they want to come to you only, okay. In, uh, if you take best example for monopoly industry, railway, Indian, Air, uh, Indian railway is the best example because nobody is there in competitor. In case if you are talking related to perfect competition, perfect competition, there are too many seller, there are too many buyer, there are too many seller means obviously uh, your product is having too much, uh, too much competitions, is it clear? So uh, how you are product, especially your product will be sit in my, uh, in the mindset of the customer so that's very important okay so your product the customer brand will recognize they start recognizing your product they start recognize your brand they start recognize your image or reputation of the company so that is that's what you are sitting in the mindset of the customers okay so based on the product attributes and benefit how you can sit a customer mindset because there are too many attributes which is related to brand which is related to quality which is related to quantity price the different different benefits whenever you are adding so always the customers are always judging which product is much better comparing to competitor so they will also study now educated customers always they will uh, analyze all the characters not only features not only packing not only price okay and even availability is it car cost worth all this analysis process will be taken care by the consumer so you need to add more and more benefit and adding a too many attribute for your product obviously your product will sit in the customer mindset even the product price also very important when you are setting a price for the product your product price is very important how this product price is comparing with your competitor it is less or more or it is a value for money okay and of course 
the product quality also most of the customers are giving quality factor they are giving a priority for quality okay and even the customer of the product use use and application compared to competitor all the factors keeping in the customer mind they will recall your product they will remember your product now customer the position is understood now going next one segmentation segmentation i just i told the segmenting means what the total area if you talking related to indian company almost tata company product each and every area each and every city they almost captured now if uh, if you talking related to new company when they are launching for the first time they cannot capture for entire they are, they are not focusing for the entire area they will select best area they are selecting a area unit they are selecting now for example north indian north indian company they first always giving a priority for north area then once they capture from the north area then they are slightly they are try to go for diverting other uh, areas like uh, west uh, east uh, south okay slowly now segmentation is a it is a uh, small unit from the total population small unit small area okay so a small city you can say here yeah. segmentation means dividing the market place into parts it is tot now it is looking like a total india in the india there are different directions uh, north east south west again if you try to go in depth in the north northeast uh, okay so again in the northeast how many city how many area you can cover so that is a segmentation you need to do when you are doing a segmentations very important you have to keep where you can find your ultimate consumers are you getting so the segmentation means dividing the marketplace into exactly number of parts because as a local competitors they cannot cover entire market it is highly impossible okay so it is connecting for the distribution channels very important you have to widening slowly your distribution channel will widening slowly so segmentation or segment you can say it is a small part so which are the uh, definable and accessible and actionable when definable see when you are finding any customer if there is any customers they are showing interest towards your product and service obviously you need to define and accessible this product i cannot sell product for directly pakistan because the pakistan is a very uh, now it is completely the transactions is cut okay because of many reasons so my targeted area which area which country that is very important accessible means we need to carry the system in practical and actionable i once i plan i need to implement immediately in that area if i selected like a bangalore city i have selected my segment area is a bangalore city once you decided everything the plan is perfect i want to flow the product and provide the product and service to the bangalore city then only it is coming under the actionable and of course whenever you are selecting a target customer selecting a right place for the market or like you can call it as a segmentation with the intentions for making a profitable okay and we have a growth potential obviously we will analyze whenever we are launching a product we will analyze based on the stp if everything is suit well then i can go for next step moving forward for the next core marketing concept okay so uh, the same thing the diagram what i specified to understand much better okay where you are customers are located where exactly how you are sitting in the customer mindset if you take one examples in this uh, see e e uh, the couples are already visited they are in this showroom like a supermarket okay how they display the product why they display the product because whenever the customers are walking around somewhere around the uh, within one roof or one shelf okay the customer will get impressed the customers are finding a too many product the product will sit directly 
in customer mindset that's what they displayed in the organized manner okay so segmentation no doubt now decide which present of the greatest opportunity are providing where you are providing if compared to mysu city if instead of going to bangalore if i try to go for mysu city so the populations comparing to bangalore it is less but if you are try to go for target like a bangalore city the population is more i can find more and more customers so that is targeting and develop a market offering that position in the mind yes you have to remember this word very important mind of the target buyer mind of the target buyer your product your service your brand it will sit in the customer mindset when they are ready to immediately they are going for purchasing a product so the delivery some central benefits that is positions moving forward for the next uh, core marketing concept uh, and of course uh, offering and brand offering uh, is uh, re the real process will be offered the real product or service are offered by the marketers or businessman or producer so what exactly offering how they are offering before offering what kind of procedures what kind of information what kind of value captured uh, the value what and all you captured from the customer point huh? so based on the capturing value now you are offering or creating a value so which is very and brand of course any there are too many brands are available so it is not only one brand okay the customer if they are try to go for uh, different kind of product purchasing the different companies are offering a different brand okay so we will study uh, we, we you will get more clarity about the offer offer is a combination of product and service offer is a combination of product or service either physical product or non physical product or like a service product or offering a information information also we can offer and even the experience the stage performance the audience how they are getting experience that is also we can offer okay so offered to the market to satisfy the needs and wants the customers needs and wants based on the customer needs and wants preference uh, what they are expecting we are uh, try to provide the best product and service to uh, the end consumer that that's what the offering is very very important okay for example here in the food industry in the food industry there are too many types of foods uh, food products are available so whenever the food product is ready they are offering for the end consumer those really needed okay so if you take example here so in the food industry market market offer might be a sandwich okay it can be a sandwich so here not only for the food industry which is a regular basis uh, or very vocationally the customers are purchasing there are too many product and different types of products are offered to the end consumer when the when you want to offer right time you want to capture the information right time you want to offer otherwise your competitors will take an advantages that's what the offering is you and brand what do you mean by brand the brand is one kind of identity it, it can be a name it can be a textual factor it can be a symbol it can be a numbers whatever it may be the brand is one kind of identity we can call it as a name in terms and sign or symbol or combination of all this we are uh, including all this we can make it one brand that identify the maker or seller of the product if you take a brand if i written like this so even the small baby can also understand this is a company is like called tata company okay if i write one symbol like uh, this one this is nike i can understood clear adidas different different types of brands are available so they are just giving one simple name or just giving one symbol okay or if you are try to give many textual vector using combination of symbols words it can be a brand moving forward for the next marketing concept core marketing concept 
of course as a marketers they must uh, well familiar with the channels as a marketers as a businessman they must well familiar with the channels very important the channel how it is working how the flow of pro goods it is going from the end consumer producer point of view to end consumer point of view the what are the channels are uh, involved in the activities like marketing activities okay channel is a described as a set of people set of people okay the set of people means if if any product is ready the product is ready the product is flowing the product is buying the product is getting consumption there are different different peoples are involved different different persons are involved in this total process okay so that's what it is a set of people the people can be organization and other activity that are work together to transfer the goods uh, goods like a product and service from the point of origin means the production origin to uh, uh, to the end point of point of consumption now producer the product they produce or uh, they provided service so with the help of channel it it can be a communication channel it can be a distribution channel it can be a service channel the product will go for the moving one production point to end consumption point clear if you talking related to communication channel how it is related to marketing core concept uh, very important here the communication channel delivery and receive the message from the target buyer what exactly customers are expecting when they can ex get the information what kind of product they are giving a priority how they are getting information how their message is conveyed how we are as a businessman they collected message from the buyer all the process which is related to communication channel so there are different media different print media or different communication channels are involved here so which include newspaper even newspaper also we can get the message and even the magazine radio television mail telephone smartphone a billboard poster uh, file uh, cd auto tape and other internet media for just using for communication in between seller and buyer buyer also want to uh, get, collect the information and the seller also want to collect the information the communication channels are Uh, useful for the both the parties, both the persons like a buyer and seller. Of course, the distribution channels very important here. How the distribution, the flow of goods and service from the producer point to end consumer point of view. So when you are talking related the flow of product, how it is going, the using a distribution channel. And the distribution channel means you must remember the product is there with the product producer. It it want to move from the wholesaler, retailer, okay, and finally it will reach to the end consumer. The distribution is a distributing the total bulk quantity or distributing making parts, okay. You are selling slowly or finally or finally or selling end consumer. That is a movement of the product or service, okay, distribution channel. the distribution channel help display of course the distributors are purchasing a bulk quantity with the help of distributor the producer work is reduced how the producer uh, they are not directly focusing uh, like a sales they are using a, a marketing intermediator distributors okay now they help with the help of display and sale delivery the physical product or uh, service to the Uh, end buyers or end customers or buyer, you can say user, those who are require your product. Okay, so the distributors only they will display the product, they will help for displaying the product, and they will uh, help for selling the product. They help for delivering the physical product. Okay, the distributor. Okay, when you are talking related to the end consumers. of course this channel may be direct via the internet, mail, mobile phone. 
टेलीफोन इनडायरेक्ट विथ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर होल सेलर रीटेलर एजेंट अदर इंटरमीडियट दो आर् कनेक्टेड द कंप्ली ट्रांसाशन द कंप्ली एक्सचे पार्ट ओके सो दीज आर दि वी कैन वी कैन कॉल इट ऐस ए मार्केटिंग इंटरमीडियेटर इट सिंपली वी कैन कॉल इट ऐस मार्केटिंग इंटरमीडियेटर द प्रोड्यूसर टू एंड कंस्यूमर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेल दि प्रोडक्ट आब्वियस्ली वी आर गेटिंग दि सपोर्ट फ्रॉम दि मार्केटिंग इंटरमीडियेटर्स मूविंग फॉर्वर्ड फॉर दि नेक्स्ट and the channels uh, we are majorly we discuss uh, related to there are two channels we already discuss here on the communication channel and distribution channel and one more channel is service channel okay the service channel carry out the transaction with the potential buyer with the help of service uh, now the, there are too many product physical product can be active because of service like if you take one smartphone okay as a smartphone a smart watch if you take any example unless you are not getting a telecommunication service if you are not inserting a sim the mobile phone is not active the physical product is not active because both physical product with some time it will active because of service even take uh, you have a television unless you are not taking a cable connection or disc connection you are not able to watch the entertainments or you are not able to Uh, watch movie okay that's what the physical product will active because of service sometime of course the marketers also use service channel that include what kind of service you are expecting as a marketers they are expecting see the producer after producing directly they are not selling to the end consumer and a different different uh, there are lot of gaps you have to fulfill there are lot of functions will be taking care within this within this producer to end consumer within this there are too many functions will be carrying on and of course uh, warehouse is a service and transportation service is required because if you don't have any own transportation of course the transportation classified into four category four types one is road transportation railway transportation and air transportation and even pipeline transportation any one you have to uh, dispatch your goods or provide clear so the transportation company even the bank service also very important because of, unless you, when you are start a business there is a business having a account like current account uh, compulsory the businessman having so with the help of bank only we are try to do this is one kind of uh, exchange of money okay or you are, you want to transfer money for the supplier the bank support is very important the customer sometime they are purchasing using a credit card the uh, even check uh, the instrument the financial instrument again how you can exchange your instruments with the help of banks and even uh, the insurance company also it is coming under the service channel because uh, there are too many equipments uh, materials when you unless you are not taking a, a risk uh, you, unless you are not taking any insured you, you are not did for insured so in case of theft fire robbery so at least you can recover the loss doing insurance marketer clearly face a design challenge in the choosing a best mix of communication when you are doing a communic promotion uh, when you are doing a promotion what kind of promotions you are doing how you are communicating how what kind of service you are getting the same thing the best mix of communications you need to select when you are dealing the transaction when you are doing a transaction when you are providing a offer products and distribution and the service channels for their offering because the service uh, the seller is offering a product they want to ultimately with, uh, without the uh, service channel help we cannot go for final dealings moving forward for next uh, the communication channel delivery and receive the message from the this diagram it is very clear the communication one channel and distribution one channel even the service is also one channel there are simple sem- sentence to remember this communication channel marketers already i have explained so moving forward for next uh, core marketing concept of course as a marketers uh, when they want to create awareness unless if they are not crea- creating awareness for for your product and service definitely we cannot sustain because how we can create okay 
uh, what kind of media we are selecting because the business is not only one person the business is involved many person okay so that's what here when we are talking related to paid paid means the company are paid for getting a service if they want to promote they want to pay if they want to get service they want to pay is it clear so opening an account of course in the social media like facebook uh, twitter we don't want to pay anything it is a free access okay if you try to go for digital marketing we need to pay that's what it is coming under the paid category and own category is the best example is website okay own category is the best example a website you, you can say or social media twitter account or facebook account or youtube account okay so it is not coming under the directly premier but it you can open account it is own media but earn media means if you are customers are really satisfied they are posting the uh, message for positive manner it can be a viral because you earn this product i have specially used you can also refer so when they posted their account it is earn media okay so it's, it's a paid media allow marketer to show their hacks and brand for fee ink fee the if they want to show brand if they want to show had they obviously they want to pay the fee which include television when there are a different channels kannada tamil malayalam english there are too many languages are available so they are giving an advertisement with the help of television why because they want to increase the sales okay so even the magazine also you need to pay when you try to purchase one specific page within this page if you want to purchase one space so obviously you need to pay and uh, even the display had also when you are going for a highway when you are uh, riding a car there are big big uh, displayed uh, they are showing the advertising related to your product okay that is also you need to pay and even paid search also you have to pay and of course the sponsorship also you need to pay and own media own media means that the company are having a own media with the help of own media they can post uh, uh, their catalog they can give more and more information about the product or features okay so own media or the communication channel marketer actually own because they have own media they can post there is no restriction okay like a company or brand brochure or they are having company are having a website a blog even the facebook account page facebook twitter instagram there are many social media they have an account at least they can post okay and even earn media means what i told very clearly if you are customers are really satisfied if they are try to refers to somebody or someone else okay the, that is when they are posting a message in this their own social media account so that is which is nothing but it is a earn media earn media are a stream in which the consumers the press press even the press also they can give positive remark and other outsider voluntary communicate community communicate something about the brand via word of mouth fuzz or viral marketing method viral marketing whenever you posted message sometime it will be viral okay so that's what suppose uh, if you take example for covid 19 somebody are introduce one medicine for covid so obviously if the someone is taken step by it will be a viral so that's what uh, when you are doing a marketing when you are getting a uh, positive reaction from the buyers or consumer it can be a viral because of best you are providing a best and best product or providing a best service moving forward for the next concept of core marketing concept impress and engagement impress means very simple when you are seriously watching in youtube video there is one small advertisement or blinking which is skippable or non skippable if you are curious to know much more information about that now you try to click the link you are going in the engagement 
Impress means the advertisement, whatever it is blinking or which is coming, okay, which is just for impressions. When you are seriously, you want to more, if you want to more about the product or uh, service, whichever it's coming advertising, if you try to go for engaging, that is called engagement. Okay, impressions how it is creating, there are three screens are required here. So majorly, so impressions marketers now think uh, three screens, what kind of three uh, screens are available here? One is means reach to the consumer, either TV or internet or mobile, any one screen you can take example. When you are seriously watching something message is coming, Okay, so you are very curious to get to, uh, you are very curiously engaged. Then you are going for the next stage like engagement because here they are not providing complete information. Okay, if you want to get complete information, obviously you need to engage. You want to click the link. You want to go for searching the website, what exactly they specified. Okay, even. The engagement is the extension of the customer attention. Here only they are showing 5% interest. If you want to, uh, if you are engaging in completely, if you are going for a website, clicking that link, now your attentions, your attention will be 100%. Once you are visited the website or link, clicking the link, okay? And active involvement with uh, communication. Here you are spending only three seconds assume. If you are curious to know more and more information about product and service or advertisement, whatever it is coming. So if you try to go here, you want to spend more than 20 or 30 seconds. Example, examples, not exactly the time what I specified here. Okay. So here said, the, it reflect the much more active response than the marrow of impressions. Here, here we are not able to expect 100% uh, we are not giving attention. But in this case, engagement we are engaging. We are uh, giving attention for 100%. Clear? That's what we will get more and more information. And is morely likely to create value for the firm because the customer, whatever the product or service, uh, which is whichever is you are giving an advertising, the customer they are showing interest, the company will get, they are capturing a value they create. Now they started creating a value, they provided a product and service to the end consumer, okay, because they already engage, okay. If they don't want that particular product, they won't go for engaging. If they want to know much more, then they are trying to go for engaging, okay? So you can see this image, it is very clearly understood. So impression is very simple. The number of time the piece of content was displayed to target audience. Now you are not only one day you are watching, uh, you are watching seriously watching YouTube, again and again you are watching. The same advertisement again and again coming means what? The customer will get, their customer is getting uh, involved. Moving forward for the next core marketing concept, uh, value and satisfaction. I very simply I specify this simple formula. How to calculate the value? There are benefits divided by cost. Cost is made by the consumer. The benefits are engaged by consumer. The value is provided by the seller. The value is given by the the benefits are provided by the added benefits provided by the seller. The cost is charged by the seller. It is applicable for both sides, not only one directions we can't say. The customer value is a difference between the total benefits expected from the product or survey. Because we are not standing in the monopoly, we are standing in, if you just assume, we are standing as a producer standing in the competitions like perfect competition. There are different competitors are providing similar kind of product. Of course, as a customer, I want to know which product having a more and more benefits or features. Okay, it is very important to know that as in customer point of view. The total cost incurred, the total cost incurred 
to obtain that product survey if i want to get maximum benefit i need to bear the expenditure i need to bear the cost whatever the seller or producer are charging if they provided like quality if they given priority for package very good package if they given extraordinary service obviously i need to bear the cost what they are charging of course the customer satisfaction everything will finally we are get to know the result based on the satisfactions level or degree of satisfaction the customers to customer that satisfactions level on keep on varied okay so if the really the customers are satisfied definitely we can expect one more time the same product can be purchased by the consumers okay the customer satisfactions refers to the difference between the actual performance experienced by customer and the expectation of the customer see anything if they are purchasing before purchasing the actual uh, expectations will be there in the customer point of view or consumer point of view so after purchasing the real benefit we are able to realize see uh, if if you are going for one big restaurant okay seeing the restaurant the customers are very attracted after going after getting the food served from the uh, hotel the then they are giving the rank okay the customer see just for looking at the uh, premises we cannot decide after going after getting the product after getting the uh, food service from the restaurant i can now i can say what is my real experience is it clear if my real experience uh, uh, compared to my actual expectation it is more means i can go for next time if it is less it means i can refer somebody not to go the same restaurant because the quality of food is defect the service is not up to the standard the service what kind of interior all these factors are connected for just for getting a service okay moving forward for the next concept here yeah, service the service what we have studied in this concept so look at this a service is an always intangible we can't see we can't touch we can't carry we cannot uh, involve we can't get the service of course the service is an intangible it is invisible we can't see we can't touch okay so the in the total gdp the service industry is a contribution of service industry is more because the service everybody want one or other service a service is any act or performance that one party can offer to another the service what we are providing okay the service provider the service receiver also the participant both are very equally important at the time of getting service at the time of providing service both the person involvement is very important that is essentially intangible it is very transparent to say service is always intangible and does not result in the ownership of the anything because unless if you are not participating unless you are not involved okay so i am not able to carry the service i am not able to carry the service if i i just told you one example for restaurant if i want to get what kind of services uh, they are providing obviously physically they want to go and sit they get the food whatever they want and it is very intangibility inseparability and involvement both are equally important in the service concept intangible means the doctor treatment uh, so just sitting in my home a uh, doctor consultancy cannot be happening so intangibility best example and inseparability means what simultaneous production so the production of physical product how it will act you because of service okay sometimes the physical product will be act you because of service product whatever it is provided now simultaneously productions will start with the number of service within the departments okay now involvement so if i want to get benefit from this restaurant i my involvement is very 100% it's very essential 
okay and participation of the customers is very equally important why because the involvement is not there means we are not able to get a service and service industry include uh, there are many different types of service you can say it is a banking service communication service wholesale retail all professional service which are transportation service okay so different different types of service are we are able to identify and of course as a marketers uh, next core marketing concept uh, you must familiar with the competitors so majorly we are focusing on brand competition and product form of competition there are different types of competition i can name it here on monopoly competition uh, oligopoly competition monopson sony monopsony competition means what only one buyer monopoly means what only one seller many buyer oligopoly means there are few seller number of buyers in perfect competition there are too many seller too many buyers unlimited buyers so there are different now mainly i can i i am focusing here based on the competition has two different sense today market one is brand competition how it is if you try to give a priority the customers are always expecting a brand brand is a different uh, company they are provided different different brand uh, suppose the customers are decided to purchase a television their mindset there are different brands are recalling the customers are recalling either i can go for philips tv okay face competition from the other competitors companies like uh, videocon simultaneously i can think why videocon onida bpl samsung lg micromax so there are different different brands are available but this is only focusing on brand now if you try to go for product form of competition again the product only we are try to go for in depth okay how for example see the consumer want to purchase two wheeler or four wheeler two wheeler if you take example whether i can go for uh, with gear or without gear whether i can go for quick start or not quick start like uh, example the next question if i'm decided to go for two wheeler the consumer next question mind uh, where with gear or without gear or self starter or quick starter etc even the four wheelers also you can take it. either if i am try to if i am a customer if i want to purchase one car i will decide whether i can go for amt automatic transmission other otherwise i can go for manual transmission automatic transmission i don't want to shift gear okay which is completely automated but manual transmission so i just want to uh, shift the gear manually the because it is a manual transmission again if you try to go for interior again if you interior design the form of the competition the product will be varied uh, from one company to other company okay so these are the examples for product form of competition there are many examples just for your understanding i took one examples here and even marketing in the under marketing core marketing concept the as a marketers they want to they must were familiar with the marketing environmental how it is influencing for the marketing department they want to much uh, they want to get more clarity about marketing environment how it is working okay so what and all it's coming okay obviously the marketing environmental means what internal source and external source are simply you can say surrounding us the surrounding us the marketing environmental refers all the internal and external factor internal means within the business external means outside the business internal business mainly as a company they have a complete freedom to control they can take the control but external factors we don't have any control because which is uh, uh, lying outside which is coming outside from the business so we don't have any control we can't control the customers we can't control the supplier okay so but i can control my respected department whatever it is there in my company or business okay so obviously 
which directly or indirectly influence the organization decisions. When I decided to take something extraordinary decisions, which is not cope up, we are not getting any support from this environmental. So obviously, the my decision part will be failure. Okay, relating to marketing activity, it is only focusing on marketing department or marketing activity. So other department, uh, they are discussing in the other. If you take production, core production, okay, concept. If you take example like marketing, core marketing concept, I just want to talk related to marketing department only, marketing activities related only, how it is, how we are getting influenced, okay, so all this. And internal factors are within the control of an organization because we have a complete freedom. That's what we are controlling. If anything modification is required, we are trying to do. And whereas external factors uh, do not fall within the control because which is outside. Moving forward just for diagram, what and all factors force are influencing for marketing activity within the department we call it as an internal environmental company or business inside and what is an external environmental here so which is coming or located or identified outside in internal environmental there are different types of department as working different policy different structure different design, okay, uh, different vision or uh, different objective set by individual departments. So everything will influence for marketing activity. If you're talking related to ethical force, ethical force we are trying to write here do or you can say do not. Do means you need to follow the morals, what rules and regulation which is directly connected to your operation. You need to follow that is do category. Do not means you should not do because the ethical force will be influencing. Okay. And even the behavior also which is coming under here perception we can talk related to ethical. Okay. And even the human resource also it's very important. Uh, Okay, how it is uh, selecting a right person, right job, or training, uh, motivations, all are influencing. And financial resource, the financial policy, what they decided, what capital structure this, uh, they decided, how much they want to raise the finance, all are matter for production activity. And uh, in the financial resource only, there are number of factors which is directly connected, okay. And even the production department, if you take example, there are uh, there are too many loopholes will be there in the production. Even that is also directly influencing. Even the R&D department, every company will always think about the innovation, 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 always innovations. Okay, which is all the, all the factors which is coming under the business, so we can control organization also within within the organization so we can control but external factors we can't control because which is located outside the competitor which type of competitor is available uh, who is giving your competition who is providing the similar product all the competition factors we need to as a marketers we need to know and even the customer behavior customer purchasing power okay when they are purchasing how many frequently they are purchasing they are not purchasing frequently everything i as a marketers i want to know and even the supplier, the supplier is a very important person. Before starting a production, they are getting a raw material. We need to depend the supplier. The supplier behavior will change. Okay. Even the marketing intermediator, marketing intermediator means the flow of the from the production point of to end consumption, the flow of the goods and service will be taken care by the marketing department. Either you can call it as a wholesaler, retailer, or agent, or coming under the market. How they are behaving, how they are supporting your business everything is influencing and even the public public can be a, like a government also public media also it is public press is a public okay so the public or general customer also can be a public even the workers worker you can say so you can uh, ask one question see workers are uh, why it is located outside no they are they are coming inside the company but they joined uh, trade union in the outside Okay, this one it will influence when the uh, good relationship, the industrial relationship is maintaining in between the management and labor or management and employee. So there is no uh, uh, problem. If there is any problem, obviously it will seek to, it will lead to sick unit or lockdown. Okay, and this one. 
and this of course the micro environmental see the micro is a small unit the small unit when we are studying which is coming under the micro unit if you take example the total industry we circle okay in this total industry if you name like a software industry this is one segment okay if you try to go for assembly industry this is one small unit okay if you're talking total industry means which is coming under the macro if you are studying for only one specific u industry that is coming under macro okay micro that is coming under micro so in the micro environmental simply in the symbolical we are writing pestle Okay, pestle P stand for political, E stand for economic, uh, S stand for social culture, T stand for technology, L stand for legal, okay, and E stand for environmental, okay. So, like this, so in the macro environmental demography means what exactly I told you, the humans, the study of human population, in the human population, the family size, age, age composition, sex composition, marital status, education level, all are connected to demography and uh, which is uh, completely outside and economical factors means as a company uh, they want to know economical condition the supply of demand uh, uh, the law of supply the supply of demand the, the supply related unemployment problem interest rate uh, okay all are which is connected to economical problem okay and the social culture because the city to city their culture their social systems will be changed because of that these things also we need to well familiar and even the political and legal system we need to know the political what kind of rules and regulation amendment uh, okay they are bringing for the business related activity and uh, technology because the technology is very rapidly increasing as a businessman we are not updating the technology obviously the technology part also very important and of course the natural resource from the natural resource only we are trying to get a raw material so the natural uh, resource will be varied because of climate because of weather okay uh, we are not able to get the raw materials so this is also factors will be influencing okay keep on watch for next session thank you